Here's what you can do with a small paddock paradise. Right now, we're entering the gate. I have a mini donkey, a Shetland pony, three large horses, and a mini horse on my track. I have an outside track where they can run. It's about 20 foot wide. Hi, baby. <clears throat> At the end here, I repurposed my old bathtub and it's now a water trough. It works really well with it being white. It doesn't get algae growth in it. Hi, Jake. Here's my run-in, which was a on-sale gazebo at BJ's. Uh, we repurposed it. We had to um, really support it because we have uh, pretty high winds here in my area. As you can see, I have feeding nets. Again, walking the outside. I have an island here to my left. Um, I don't have anything planted in it yet because I plan to put dwarf fruit trees in. And with it being June, there aren't any available in the nurseries. <clears throat> so I'm going to keep walking around. We run into the little guys again. In this island, I have um, case trees. They're very small. You probably can't see them. We're back at the gate. Another feeding station. This is a little wider area. I've put some very coarse stones down for their hooves. I wanted to do another island in here, but it was just getting to be too much uh, physical labor for us. Um, so I'm just putting obstacles in the way. Here's another island. I have perennials in there. Um, they haven't really come up enough for you to see yet. I have a maple tree here. <laughs> and the tree is for hopefully some shade. Here's my island. I've got a pawpaw tree and some elderberry bushes started in here. <clears throat> my husband made it so that I can open uh, and have access to inside for whatever reason. And I know the elderberry really isn't a uh, safe horse bush, but it's it's in where they really are not going to have any access to it. I've also uh, put a lot of mint in here, which is horse friendly. So my paddock is probably not quite three quarters of an acre. It is small. Um, but it does the trick. As you can see, everybody seems to be very happy. No one's cramped. Um, I don't have real narrow pathways because they like to run three abreast. Uh, and this way I don't have to worry about them getting shocked. Um, another feeding station. I hope this gives people with small areas a little bit of, um, of an idea of what you can do with a very small space. <clears throat>